Hello and welcome to McHale. My name is Mike Walsh and I'm joined with Joe O'Shea, our service manager today, and we're going to have a walk through the new Fusion 4 range. Within this range, we've got three models. We've got the Fusion 4 Plus, which is stood here behind us. We have the Fusion 4 Pro and also the standard machine. Within the machine, we're going to talk about the different features. Sure. Yeah, a few changes on the machine from front to back. Um, Isobus control being a major change on, 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 onto, onto the tractor. Um, we have this Profi Flow pickup reel and chopper system, which we'll go through. Uh, some mechanical changes as regards to the oiler and greaser system, chain tensioning system, um, wrapper at the back, a few changes on that on your keypad and, and improvements there as well. Yeah, the keypad is quite a good addition. I found it very useful when operating the machine. A lot of functions there. Yeah, increased number of functions is the biggest part of it, all on the one keypad. So we've got eight buttons on here. Your index button, which we've always had to rotate your wrapper in a half a rotation. Uh, a new feature here, which is your pause or your rewrap button. So if you want to pause the bale from wrapping to retie on film or restart the wrapper from out here, it can be done from here rather than getting into the tractor and getting back out again. Um, the tip function buttons for up and down, again for customers who have a side tip on the back of the machine, for putting the side tip from transport to working position, those buttons are there. Uh, two new features on lights here, so we've got panel working lights both here and here, so you can switch those on and off for when you get out to change film or see something on the machine. Um, we have two other choosable functions here, A and B, so they can be selected in the tractor cab um, to operate whatever function you want on the machine. Maybe the Tip going up and down, uh, the cotton ties open, chamber open and close, knives, drop floor, any function on the machine can be operated and selected from the menu on the control box. Quite, quite a nice feature. So from an operator's point of view, from once you hop out, you can do all your work from here, back in, and you're ready to bail. Yeah. Because we've increased the intake of the machine, the rear of the machine has changed as well. The wrapping system itself has been sped up. Yeah, and that's about the only change on the wrapping system over the last number of years. Um, 100% reliable wrapping system. Um, so one of the only changes you could possibly make to it is to increase the wrapper speed to keep up with the intake, improved intake on the front of the machine. So we're running at a couple of RPM higher, so you're getting a couple of extra bales per hour out of the wrapper system. Talking about the wrapping side, the, the cut and ties, I see now there's an addition of brushes on the rails and also a tap system for keeping them open. Yeah, um, two very simple changes on that cut and tie system. Um, the brush system, which we see here, um, again, warmer conditions, which we see quite a bit of now. Um, very tacky film, a lot of stick on it, sometimes causes it to get very sticky here and maybe causes the film to tear or get damaged when it's gathering it. So very simple brush system here, um, keeps it clean and stops the film of getting damaged and tearing. Uh, the second system is on the other side of the machine, which you have a, an on-off tap, which you can switch to the off position. And when you operate your cut and tie, it goes fully out and stays out. So if you're cleaning off the cotton tie, replacing the blade, any bit of maintenance on the cotton tie system is a very safe way of actually keeping it fully out. You switch the tap back to the on position and both your cotton ties return back into their normal position as well. Nice feature. Yeah. Looking at the side of the chamber here, I can see that we've got new chain adjusters, long chain adjusters, which keep the tension on the chain all the time. Yes, all of the chains on the machine, um, all the drive chains on this side of the chamber and your double drive duplex rotor drive chain on the other side. Less maintenance from an operator's point of view um, because you've got a longer spring so it doesn't need adjustment as often. Um, and as well as that, it's more even pull on the chain as well. So when you do get any movement in the chain as it wears, it'll keep an even pull on the chain. To maintain and look after the chains, we've got a new uh, oil reservoir here which carries more oil. Um, and a new addition which I quite like is a dual pump system here. So one for feeding the oil and a secondary one for feeding the grease. Yeah. Explain it to me, Jared. I suppose something operators would have mentioned over the years was, particularly in very dry, dusty conditions where you want to increase the volume of oil going onto your chains, you were in the old system where there were one combined pump, you were using grease faster on the machine. So we've made a bigger tank and separated the oiler from the greaser completely. So now your oil, you can set from the control box to put as much oil as your chain on your chains as you want, and it doesn't affect your grease usage. And having a bigger oil tank there then allows you to use more oil and have to fill it less. So like the summer just gone by where we've got drier conditions, dustier conditions? Absolutely. You can, your oil is adjustable from the cab and your grease is completely separate. So on a separate pump, 
you're filling your yeast cartridge every 300 bales, same as, as we always have done. Um, we're still using our progressive oiling and greasing system, which means everything will get oil or everything will get grease. It cannot skip a bearing or, or if there's a blockage in the system, the whole system shuts down. So still that old reliability is there. Looking at the front of the machine, as we said earlier, we're talking about the new ProfiFlow system. Um, the baler we're looking at here today is fitted with the Camnus pickup. Talk me through the changes that made the pickup so much better, so much intake. Yeah, quite a few very simple changes here from, from the very front all the way back through the machine. So position of guards, the position of the augers on the front of the machine, the space on each side of the rotor, um, right the way through into the chamber, speed of the rotor, all of this has changed to improve the intake of the machine. Um, the Camus pickup reel, as you mentioned, um, has become a very popular option over the last number of years. On the ProfiFlow machines, now this Camus pickup reel is wider, so we're taking in a big, bigger volume of crop. Um, the full intake on the machine has improved, so it means less blockages for the operator. You're taking in higher volumes of the crop at higher speeds, particularly when you're chopping, it's less likely to block, particularly on the corner of the field, or just when your bale is about to finish. You're taking that crop in, particularly chopping with 25 knives, you're way less likely to get a blockage at any stage during that. And that extra flow through the machine, that has also improved the bale coming out the back of the machine. With my experience using the machine this summer, I found with the 1,000 speed gearbox and the bigger tractors, you had less blocking, you had easier intake. With the design changes in the org and, and, and the pickup rotor and all that, that the bale shape has improved a lot? Yeah, absolutely. We've got a, you've better bale rotation, a better flow of crops through the machine, so you end up with a squarer bale and a more dense bale at the end of the day. After the pickup, we look up farther here, we're looking at the film. Um, now I would safely say production change, the majority of machines we're building are pluses where people traditionally use net, which was fine, but basically all net does is hold the bale together. It's where by using film on the barrel of the bale, it holds it and preserves it. Yeah, a lot of this has been driven from the quality end of it, where customers are feeding bales, and they can see the advantage of putting film on the bale instead of net. It's an extra layer of film on the bale, so you have better quality feed, more air tightness on the bale. It's a tighter bale, because the film will hold it tighter than the net will, and it's easier for removing the waste from the bale, you've just plastic, nothing else, and disposing of it. So at the end of the day, the, the whole effort or exercise about preserving the product, preserving the bale, and that's where the film really stands out. Yeah, and they can see the benefits of it. It's coming from the end user who's actually feeding his livestock, and that's what's, what's driving the, the, the more and more machines to be plus machines. Switching to Isobus, I would say, was a fantastic move. It makes the machine lovely to use. You've got a lot more options, a lot more features. Just talk me through it a little. Yeah, so all your Plus and your Pro models are Isobus as standard. So you have a few options with Isobus. Um, your Isobus loom coming from the baler, depending on what tractor you're plugging it into. So we've two or three different options here. You can plug it into an Isobus tractor um, and use your Isobus terminal in the tractor. You can plug it into the tractor and still use the McHale terminal. We do two options on the terminal. We have a seven inch ISO play monitor and a 12 inch ISO play monitor. And if you have a tractor that is not ISOBUS at all, you can plug this directly into the McHale monitor and you can use the McHale monitor from there. There's advantages and disadvantages in both. Um, one of the advantages of using the McHale monitor is the camera switching, where we have two cameras on the machine as always, one looking at the NRF going into the chamber and one looking at the wrapper at the back. The, CAD, the control unit will automatically switch to whichever camera is looking at something on the machine during the cycle and switch back to your main screen as it finishes and that's all adjustable in the menu. Um, that will not happen unless you're using the McHale monitor. So if you're using an Isobus tractor, then you need the camera on all the time or be able to switch to the camera whenever you need it. So from a production point of view, when you're ordering a Fusion 4 machine, you can order it with or without a monitor. So that's the option you have. Some operators will have both standard tractor monitor and the machine monitor itself. As regards uh, fitting a Fusion 4 Plus to a tractor or any Isobus machine from McHale, we have a series of videos on YouTube which you're welcome to look at. Within them series of videos, we show fitting the machines to different types of tractors. As well as that, it shows a display on the screen and we have the extra feature of Oxen which means you can change the functions from the control box onto the tractor control. For example, dropping the bale at the back um, and, and other features within the machine use itself. Yeah, there's some of the advantage, advantages of Isobus when you're on an Isobus tractor. Um, for example, the drop floor one, where you can, the machine will actually drop the drop floor down automatically. You turn on your PTO, the lump goes in, and it'll reset the drop floor again. So the operator has no function to press on the machine once he's turning the PTO back on. 
she automatically knows the position of the drop floor and can carry on. And as you say, your aux ignition functions for your tip or any function on that can be automatically selected on any of your joystick or buttons on the actual tractor itself. Mikhail as a company has been building Fusion Baylor since 2002 from the Fusion 1, Fusion 2, Fusion 3. Now we've introduced the Fusion 4 and as you can hear from Jura and I, there's been a huge amount of improvement and a lot of exciting new technology gone into the machine. Thank you for listening to the video today and we hope you found it of benefit. Beep.